Hey guys, and welcome to your Money Q&A question of the day. I'm your host, Stacey Johnson, and this answer is brought to you by MoneyTalksNews.com, serving up the best in personal finance news and advice since 1991. Let's look at our question for the day. It comes to us from Ruben. Ruben says, Stacy, is every American at age 65 required to sign up for Medicare? Please advise. Well, this could be a very complicated question, and it's super important that you learn it, especially if you're approaching 65. First of all, not everybody's entitled to Medicare. Like Social Security, you have to pay into Medicare in order to be able to use Medicare, but providing that you've been paying into it, uh, you certainly should be looking at Medicare when you approach 65. Are you required to sign up for it? No, you're not, but if you're retired at 65, if you're not working, you're not covered by an employer or maybe by your spouse, you certainly want to sign up because you want to have health insurance, right? And if you, there, you've you only got a seven-month period, three months before you turn 65, the month you turn 65, and three months after you turn 65 to sign up for Medicare. If you don't do it during that time period and you want to sign up later, you're going to have to pay a penalty. And that, in other words, you're going to pay more for it. And that's going to last for life. So, you really want to pay attention to this, folks. As you approach your 65th birthday, you want to make sure that you sign up because it's not like they're going to, they're going to send you a bunch of stuff in the mail telling you what to do like they should. They might, you might get little notices, but believe me, I've read a lot about this. It's complicated. A lot of people miss this window. Don't be one of them. Now, however, that being said, what if you are working and you're covered by your employer's insurance or maybe you're covered by your spouse? You're actively employed, okay? Then you don't have to sign up for Medicare. Obviously, if your employer is paying for your insurance, then you don't want to be also paying for Medicare because Medicare is not free. So the rules are different if your employer has 20 or more employees or less than 20 employees. Okay, but nonetheless, point is, you theoretically can not pay Medicare if you have insurance elsewhere and you are actively employed. And then once you stop being actively employed, or your spouse who's covering you stops being actively employed, then you've got eight months to go ahead and apply for Medicare without that penalty. So the question was, am I required to sign up? The answer is, if you're employed elsewhere, you are not required to sign up, but make sure you remember when you're no longer employed to go ahead and sign up. If you are not working elsewhere and you don't have health insurance and you're eligible for Medicare, then you're required by common sense to sign up because you don't want to be sitting there 65 years old with no insurance and you don't want to be applying for it later and pay extra, right? So go ahead and sign up unless you're already covered. And even then, make sure you go to your human resources division and make and tell them what your situation is and make sure that you got it right, okay? Because this can be complicated and it can cost you a lot of money if you get it wrong. Hope that makes sense to you, Ruben. And I hope all you guys are going to join me right here next time. Have a good one.